Hey everybody, it's me, John Twabish, uh, with the part two of the text table in Tableau. Uh, I more or less gave up on this one, trying to do anything super fancy. Um, I, as I showed in the last video, the part one, I was able to figure out how to do the single color swatch. I mean, I guess we, maybe I could have done like shapes or a heat map or something, but uh, I didn't. So there's that. I sorted, I ended up sorting it by all metals and then I actually filtered out the countries that had zero metals. So I got rid of that. Um, and I dropped it into a dashboard. I figured out how to put a little image in here. Okay, got that. Put a text box up here. Again, can't quite figure out how to like align everything perfectly. You sort of have to like eyeball it. You can see that these are not like lined up right at the top. Not a big deal, but you know, if I was doing something more specific, I would want to. The one thing I did figure out was how, well, okay. So I'll say the one thing that I wanted to do was build some sort of like accordion folder, right? So like in a pivot table in Excel, it has a little, it would have a little like plus symbol next to 2016, right? And you could click that or a little minus symbol. And so you would sort of like collapse all the way down and just have the list of the games and then hit the plus symbol and it would expand out. And same thing with the countries. Like maybe I just want to look at all countries here, like total medals, and I could collapse this down and then expand it out. And I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I don't even know if I can do that. I did figure out how to build this little hamburger button though, um, so that when I click this, uh, it has to, it has to be in presentation mode. But when I click this, the um, the drop down menu show up. So I can do that. I figured that out, um, which is which is kind of nice. Um, not a hundred percent. See, I kind of still have some like overlap here. So I didn't do that a hundred percent great. And I also looked up how to do like a spanner column header across all these. So if I just wanted to say like metals um, across, you know, or metal count across all four of these columns and then just say all gold, silver, bronze, apparently you can't do that in Excel in a sheet. You can sort of do it in a dashboard based on my Googling and reading. Uh, you can sort of build a like a, a text box across this, but I'm not sure how well that's going to like you know, work with respond with responsive design and you know people on different screens and stuff like that. So I didn't really bother with that. My sense of all this from doing this text table is Tableau is just not great at doing tables. And I mean, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. Um, I'm just saying it's like not exactly what I'd want it to be. So I think for tables, um, I'm probably back into the Excel world which is fine. The obvious downside is if I wanted to create something interactive, an interactive table, um, you know, I'd have to share an Excel workbook, can't really post it to the web. Um, so it doesn't, that's, you know, sort of not perfect. The last thing is I'm looking at this as I'm talking, the last thing I wanted to do was to indent these numbers and I couldn't also couldn't figure that out. So like you can, I can center these numbers, but I, what I want them is right aligned, but centered in the column right under the title. And I can do that in Excel with a little indent. I can right align the numbers and then indent them. Don't think I can do that in Tableau. I haven't figured it out. So I'm three for three though on doing the back to uh, Viz Basics project, which is good for me, uh, actually sticking with it and staying with it. So I'm looking forward to week four, uh, learning some new things, getting there. Um, you know, Check out the other videos in this playlist to see where else I'm struggling. And if you have comments, questions, suggestions on how to fix some things, maybe there is a way to do some of these filtering things, these, these accordion uh, filters or something like that, let me know in the, in the comments. Uh, really happy to uh, see uh, what other folks are doing. So uh, thanks for watching.